Hey, Wax Slug Enthusiasts, Shotgunners, Target Shooters, people that like cheap ammunition, do it yourselfers. Preppers, all you guys out there have been buying the heck out of this tool since I came up with it. And I want to thank Tough Later Mouse for having a video that said, hey, could somebody come up with a good way to open a shelf or wax slugs? And so I started thinking about it, and this is what I've come to. This is what I've been making for a couple years now. I've sold hundreds of these. And people still email me and ask me, are you making those? And yes. Yes, I will keep making them as long as people want them. And the purpose of this tool is to open a shotgun hull, a 12-gauge shotgun hull, like a can opener, okay, where you remove what I call the crimp, leave the crimp bead, and it secures the wad so it can't come loose. But the purpose of that is just so that your wad doesn't slide down your barrel and, and blow your shotgun up accidentally. So these are the safest way I know to open a hull to make wax slugs. The purpose of waking wax slugs is to take this shot and bind it together with something like paraffin or microcrystalline wax or beeswax or whatever you want, glue, whatever. And you fill your shotgun shell back up and the shot, when it's expelled, will stay together kind of like a slug and when it strikes the target, it explodes, kind of like a breaching round. So it's a really neat round. It's pretty cheap. These are about like 26, 27 bucks a box for a hundred. So that's how it works. This is the tool. This is pretty representative of what I make. I take select hardwood so it will last you a lifetime. I treat it with uh, oil and wax. Okay? And I test every one of them that I send out. And this is how you open the shell. It's really simple. There's a little utility blade clamped underneath here. And you just twist it. And it just cuts the shell right open like a can opener. I go back and forth a few times because I don't want to have any pellets trapped by the blade and it just it just seems to work better for me if I go back and forth kind of make sure everything's done but that's basically what you end up with and here's the little center part bungholio dime and here's your shot and then you can just add your shot to some wax and pour it back in your hulls. I also make a tool, a grid board, that holds all of these hulls, 25 of them, so you can open a box and load a box in about 10-15 minutes. It's just to make it neater, speedier, cleaner, and safer. So, you know, you take something that's a little bit hinky, which is like a wax slug, which sounds hinky, and could be dangerous if you don't do it right, and create tools and procedures and information for people to make it a fun, safe thing. So you can get a hold of me at rw underscore k-e-e-t-o-n at yahoo.com if you'd like to check this out. Now I'm going to open this up real quick just to show you. If you ever needed to service this, if it looked like your blade broke or got chipped or whatever, I mean you are cutting into a plastic package filled with metal. So eventually, even though that's lead, it can possibly break the tip off the blade or whatever. These are utility blades. They cost like 10 cents a piece, if that. And you can get them at the hardware store. And that's how it's set up in there. And just for people that are curious is why this works the way it does, is I've got the hole, which I make with my router. Okay, this is not the size of a drill bit. There's no drill bit this size. I make this with my router in a template. And I route it. Okay, and then I notch it, okay, and then you can see that that allows the blade to enter the hull and cut right around beside the perimeter. Now there's many ways to adjust this blade. This blade can be adjusted in and out. There's pretty much of a maximum here. If you overlap this gap too far, you'll get a pinched off looking end on your, sh on your shell, but it'll still work fine. And you can go down by taking something flat, like in this case I'm using the edge of my screwdriver blade, and you push it into the wood. And you actually have the blade tipped a little bit, and that makes it enter the shell sooner. Okay, I made a video on all this. Okay, how to operate your shell prepper, how to tune it, how to fix it, whatever. But it's such a simple tool. You really won't have to do this. You won't have to mess with it. All you gotta do just stick a shell in it and twist it and dump it out. 
and uh, I'm happy to say that everybody that's gotten one of these from me has, has usually taken the time to email me back and say that was awesome, I really love it, I've already made a hundred shells, I can't believe it, blah blah blah. I love that, I love that. Feedback is awesome. That's what this is all about on YouTube. Engagement. Feedback. So you just twist it. Dump it out. Okay. Make sure you don't have any pellets trapped up in there. And there is your bungholio done. So, thanks for uh, supporting Mountain Storm. Like I said, you can get a hold of me at rw underscore k e e t o n at yahoo.com. That is also my business PayPal account. So if you want to purchase these things, get a hold of me first, and I'll be glad to send you an invoice, or you can send me a check or money order. I'm flexible. Just want everybody out there to know that I am still making these, and that they are awesome.